All right, everyone, hope you've had a good week. If you are a rider, I hope you've been out on your bike. If you're not a rider, I hope you've gone and done something you enjoy. Now, please excuse me, this is gonna be another mountain bike vlog in a row, but when you get a flipping awesome bike like this and live in an amazing place like this, I think it'd be pretty nuts not to take advantage of it. So I've joined up with the one, the only, Pete Scullion. How's it going? Um, good, we're going up um, a new mountain for me. New mountain for you. Yeah, yes. well, pretty um, much. Every mountain is almost a new mountain for me. Yes, but I've, this one's been on the list for a while. I'm surprised you haven't been up. You'd be, I thought you'd been up pretty much every mountain by now. No, I've been up the same two mountains like a hundred times. <laughs> so what's this one we're going up? This is a Ben Ugh. Ugh. Um, Scalic for a horse mountain. I have no idea why. <laughs> Maybe we'll see a horse. Yeah. Wild horses, I doubt yeah. it. So, yep. Yeah. Like Pete says, this is a new mountain for both of us. Apparently we've been told it's a bit of a hike and bike, so quite steep, probably a lot of pushing. Um, and then hopefully quite an interesting descent. The weather is actually holding off, but it is spring. Who knows what it's gonna do. It'd be pretty nice to have a, a dry ride for once, but I have borrowed, borrowed a waterproof and windproof off Danny, one of his Enduro ones. He's away in sky, so I don't think you'll notice. I've also borrowed some of Danny's old padded shorts, so actually sitting down will hopefully be pretty handy. If there are any riding clothes manufacturers and you want to send me some actually decent riding gear that belongs to me, I'm all ears. Get in touch, guys. So we are literally going to get ready. I'm probably holding Pete up by chatting to the camera like this. Pete has got a new bike. Is that a 29er? It is a 29er. Love the colour. It's a good colour. Goes for the health. <laughs> Mountain bikers in their fluoro. <laughs> Back to the 90s, boys. That's yeah. Right. What goes around comes around. Indeed. Right, let's get some uh, actual riding clobber on. Yeah. Actually, before I get fully kitted up, I did take note of a couple of comments on my last video where they said the wind noise was too much and I agree with you, I just left the wind reduction off because last time I did that it actually cut out a bit of the audio altogether because it must have got overloaded by the wind noise. So today I have brought a makeshift wind sock, this is actually meant for the Hero 4 but I've tried it and it does work for this one as well. So fingers crossed this works and will reduce a bit of the wind noise for you. Right, all set, I think Pete's being very patient, waiting for me get this a bit further up that'll do let's do this oh my goodness padded shorts right first bit of climb trousy root section oh. pedal scrape but made it oh let's take a look at this pete has a little passenger uh, hey buddy trying to find um, a flower usually when they're on the ground they're knackered we we'll have to watch our heads on this one bloody hell I reckon I could maybe get under it, but I'm not sure about my GoPro. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting on the way back down. Had a bit of a, a winter tree fall. We've got bees over here. Right. Like I said, neither of us have been here before, but Pete reckons it's up there. You can just well, about see the, the path going up. So. Oh, there's a sign. The sign says he'll reach a better. Oh. It's just those well there two. we go time to start pushing so we thought it was going to be dry and it is dry apart from classic bog that's why you bring waterproof socks mate that's why you brought waterproof socks it's just a nice trousing rock all right It's a rock, I can't resist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect to see that on the way up the hill, did you? No, we didn't. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy Thank the rest you of your walk. Uh, not sure if you guys are able to see that from here, but we just climbed quite a bit of altitude in a very short time. That is some seriously steep stuff. That's some steep stuff. It's going to be pretty wild and loose yeah. on the way down. It's going to be, going to be fun. Fear in the eyes, hold on. Yeah. I know I've got a lot of people watching who are outside of Scotland, but even to those who live in Britain, Scotland, come and have a look. Look how gorgeous it is. Wait to see the view from the top. Mm. 
In fact, we might find a wreck of a jet fighter up here. Oh really? A uh, supermarine scimitar crashed on Stuck Croyne in the 50s. No way. Oh, let's, no let's find that. No idea where it is though. Oh. Well, it might have just smacked into some peat bog, mm. never to be seen again. See, that would be some good clickbait. Finding crashed jet fighter on mountaintop. Right, a bit further up now. Gonna be at the top soon, I promise, guys. But I reckon we're gonna get a good view from here. I'm hoping it's not too windy. Hopefully, that wee little sock's working out. Almost at the top. <laughs> yeah. Well, Leddy's 80 metres taller than us. Okay. Well, not us, I'm 5'3". Yeah. <laughs> so about so I can't tell how high we are compared to that. We're not far off. We can't be far from the top. But um, way, way closer than when you said not far from the top when we were halfway up the hill. Yeah. <laughs> Whoop, I was falling. Uh, this trail look amazing. Pretty good, eh? Yeah. Steep as Ken. Steep as Ken. I'll keep on going about how steep this is, but. This is pretty steep, I'll grant you that. This is pretty. It's steep and technical and rocky. Yeah. And pretty windy. Well, you can still be fine out. Yeah. <laughs> Hi there. How's it going? Almost there. <laughs> I think, I think this might be the top. Haha! There we have it. Made it. Nice one. Got there in the end? Yeah. I'll go on about it when we get to the top of these mountains, but seriously good views as usual. Although I can imagine with low cloud you won't be able to see a thing. Yeah, we just found a bit of shelter outside the wind. Gonna eat our scrams. Is that right? Scrams? Scrams. Try to pick up this Scottish lingo. You think I'd scran, no. just scran. Scran. Scran has a plural. Okay, no, so. It might just be scran. We're going to eat scran, our scran. Anyway, we're going to eat some food and then head not hang around too long and then head back down. I got some uh, crispy cubes from Lidl. Uh, I wish you could feel the weight of this. It's pretty much... <laughs> There's like nothing there. It's pretty much just... Up. If it taps in the wind, I reckon that will go. <laughs> pretty much floats, but I have also got the classic hot cross loaf. I've already nibbled on about half of this already. Do you want a bit? I have sent my reduced mix pack a bit lighter for the way down. Speaking of weight, this one, good old weight to this. Much better. Right, so that says snacked, watered, padded up. Shall we, shall we do this? I think we should do some skids. <laughs> right, so I'm just gonna get on with this. The wind's probably gonna be too much for me to actually talk, so this is just gonna be literally back down the mountain, so enjoy the ride. Shall we?
Yeah. <laughs> this wind as well. Wayne 8 stone 3 does not help with that. Just <laughs> like keep feeling myself getting shunted. Yeah. It's kind of hard to hold the line when you get blown sideways. So just dropped all that height already. <laughs> that was quick. That is steep. brakes and tyres for this. Oh, so stop here and wait for Pete. <laughs> so Pete's got pretty much a semi-slick tyre on the back so it's on something this steep and potentially like this loose. Pretty scary. Lost the back wheel. Proper mountain biking. Well, it's a mountain. We're on it on bikes. Proper mountain bike scrambling. Maybe she's right.
nice drop down there by the way So just watching you pick up speed while you're skidding. I just can't slow down. <laughs> on the seat <laughs> oh I got the corner not this one we'll see No room for the bike. Steep. Good work. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Get quite excitable sometimes. Oh, that's quite alright. Meh. Meh.
up in the woods. Drop in. I took the worst line into that in the world. Tight. Not quite. Oof. Get my trials on this. I survived. I'm so happy right now. I'm absolutely knackered. <sighs> that last bit is pretty tech. Right, so we survived the hill. We survived the steepness, the rocks, the wind. No snow though, which is a bonus. Thank you very much for inviting me out. That was flipping awesome. Oh, dude, anytime. I stole Danny's padded shorts because I thought there was going to be lots of riding. Actually, that was pretty much mostly hiking which actually suits me because I can't ride up hills for snot although it's only one way to get better and that's actually do it so I will get out and ride up some hills at some point but I, anyway, I digress that is the end of the ride so therefore that is the end of the vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it you know the usual all the stuff I say at the end get out ride your bikes have fun but I do mean it get out ride your bikes have fun I'll catch you next time where I'll either be mountain biking again or I'll get out on a street bike. I know you guys like that. Uh, but until then, have fun. That's a goodbye from me. A goodbye from Pete. Laters. And I'll see you next time. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.